que tu racontais à fin. Ah, tu connais. Et je te crois le maître du monde. Hello everyone and welcome to this new edition tutorial. Today what we'll be doing is a water sensor alarm. That is an alarm that can be used in maybe in a house or in a building to be able to sense and then give a um, give a sound an alarm sound in order to tell whether there is a flooding occurring or not. So we need we have here a water sensor and then to connect our water sensor a water sensor functions in such a way that a water it reads water from the air. Um, it has a potentiometer embedded in, into it. So as the water level rises from down here to the topest part, the, that is how it measures the level of the water. So if you want to put it into something or into a building to measure, you put it in this way. So that as the water rises, the level of the um, the rising of the water is being recorded. And so you can uh, connect it to your Arduino board and then you put also a buzzer as we have been doing since last time so that you should be able to make the sound and then alarm you. So I have here my water sensor, I have my buzzer, I have a small LED. So I will just wire it up. I will put my LED on pin 13. On pin 13. After I take my buzzer and then I put it as usual to the ground and I will also put it on pin 4 of my Arduino board. Then after for the to, to wire up the the water sensor it is very easy. You have a negative side that goes to the ground, positive side that goes to the 5 volt and the S that one that goes for the data. One eternity later. So now I've already finished wiring up my setup. It was a very easy one. And in the description of the video, you can have access to the wiring diagram plus the code. So now I'm just going to do a small. Okay, now we'll be testing it. So we'll see as we put it inside. Touches the level. The level is still low. I put the level of 280. As you reach that level, you start producing the sound. I remove it. The sound reduces. It still makes the sound because the level is that high. I'll start by putting the this is the pin that that goes to the anal, the analog pin of the Arduino board and it's connected to the S part of the water resistor. Then we declare all of these variables, the LED pin, the buffer that will be able to contain the words we want to write to the serial output. The buzzer pin, which is pin 8, and I'll put them in their different modes. Buzzer output, serial, uh, the LED pin as output, and by default, the analog pin up here so it's declared as an input. The, uh, we'll open the serial monitor down here in the loop. we we'll read the value we we'll, uh, analog read from the S pin of the water sensor, put inside the variable value, and then here we we'll do a small computation to look at to be able to count and then uh, sense the level of the water then yeah we we'll print it to the serial monitor this is it and then if the value goes more than 280 what we we'll do is we we'll put on the alarm that is maybe if the water if you use it in your house and then the water is more than a certain level you can put the alarm on else the alarm will be down and the lead will be down then the code goes on and on i would like to thank you all for watching hope to see you next week for another nice and passionate video hope you enjoyed this one please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and after subscribing make sure you click on the on the on the bell button to be to be alerted each time they see new video on hope to see you next time